it's sunny. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I want to make hairpins. Um, a while ago with some, some leftover resin I made this uh, triad of a hairpin um, and I like the idea a lot. I've been using this a lot so as you can see it also has taken kind of a weird shape. It was supposed to be straight but now it's like... Um, like bent over a little bit but never mind and so what I wanted to do today actually is making way more out of these but then prettier because this is you know with leftover resin this is what you get right so what we will be using today are first of all uh, cocktail straws um, I didn't find any transparent ones so they're gonna be black it's gonna make the whole process a little bit more difficult and also it's gonna be the outcome is gonna be a mystery I think I have a normal straw here for comparison this is gonna be a resin project so the resin I'll be using today is resin pro uh, transparent by component a and B and this is a 100 to 60 ratio and then as decorations I'll try to use a lot of stuff. What I have here with me are gold leaf sheets in gold and copper. There's some glitter, mica powder. Um, these are supposed to be chameleon pigments um, bought on AliExpress. Anyways, I'll be linking uh, all the materials I can uh, below into the description box. And then we have uh, various dried flowers. These are ones that I uh, took myself from the garden while these are purchased from Aliexpress also. Then I thought it would be nice also to try and experiment with um, pencil sharpening residue. I don't know how you call this but anyway these. Um, and that's more or less about it I think. So first things first, making the resin. Okay, now what I forgot to mention is that we're gonna use glue gun. We will have to block one of the exits of the straw. So what I'm gonna do is add the glue gun on my silicone mat. Press the straw in it. I'm gonna prep multiple ones. So the cool thing about silicone mats and glue gun is that the glue from the glue gun does not attach to the silicone mat, so you can detach it really easily. So these I'm gonna detach from here and set them aside so I can work on my first one. So the first straw I want to make is one rather simple. So what I'd like to make is a, um, a white glittery, like fairy-like if you want, tip. And then the rest I want it to be completely transparent and add some flowers to it. So here I have my flower box and I have some thin stems with little white flowers or purple flowers that I can add to it. And hopefully it will come out nice. So. First things first, I take one of my silicone cups, add a bit of clear resin, and I'm gonna white, add white mica powder with some white chameleon powder. So the thing about this is that I have literally no clue until where <laughs> the resin is. So just wanna pour and hope for the best. Thank you. 
So what I have to do here is pressing around the straw so that all the air bubbles forming inside pop. So in here I want to add a little charm, so what I do is I take this, normally you can find the ones with a little loop already but I don't have it, so I, that's why I use this. I'll take the end and roll it around the largest part and then just keep rolling to make a little spiral, just to make it more pretty once it's inside. Now I make a temporary hook to make sure that it doesn't fall down, just like that. And so I insert it in here, like this. This is done. I have no idea whatsoever how these are gonna come out. Like literally, this is gonna be a mystery. They can come out really, really gorgeous as it can come out completely wrong. So yeah, for me it's gonna be waiting at least 24 hours. Well, for you, the reveal of these <laughs> hairpins is gonna be right now. Okay, so here we are. This ha it actually has been quite a while, so they're pretty hard. That's good. Um, let's see. So, uh, with the first one, 
this i'm i like the effect that it gives so it's actually pretty elegant at least in my opinion so here we have the flower some of the gold flakes and the white tip the only problem is that here the flowers are stuck a little bit in the middle um, I hope that actually, like all flowers, they would have risen up at least to this point, which is a more visible point of the hairpin, since this will attach the bun, but what I can do is try to let this be, like, keep the bun on this side, so that we can at least see some of the flowers. So if I'm ever going to remake this, this is something I need to take into consideration, so either make sure that the flowers don't go as far down, um, and um, or just add more flowers so that at least this part is filled up so note to self <laughs> um, so this is one and we have this one which is quite classic-y I guess so there's not much going on besides like here this is quite cool um, and I don't know if you can see it but there is some purple reflection which is quite cool Unfortunately here I added also some bluish transparent um, resin, but that completely uh, blended with uh, the other two colors. But still, it's quite elegant and I like it, it's not bad. So I'm going to use this as a tip and this as the end. This one I will consider as a complete failure. I don't like it at all. <laughs> it's... I don't know. I think I kind of expected it, but I still wanted to try because with resin, especially when looking, uh, when working with um, opaque and dark molds, you, and you can't see the result, it's always a surprise. But I wasn't expecting much of this one, anyways. And then we have this one, which I actually like a lot. Um, trying to here, you can see like very slightly the flowers inside. So it's like half opaque, half transparent, and I actually like the effect a lot, especially here with the gold flakes. And I like it. So here we have the point here and the end here. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take my sanding paper. I'll start with the higher grain, 150, and then I'll go up with all the rest. So here I have my sanding papers, all in different grains, but we'll do it step by step. First of all, I'm gonna start um, making the rough points and then I'll I'll switch to uh, higher grains of sanding paper. So since how I said, I like the idea of how this teared out, but I want to perfection it. So this is what I'm gonna do now actually before keep with the sanding process. Um, so here I prepared already one batch of resin with some of the white and light pink uh, mica powder. So this is here and then here I've got transparent resin with some copper leaf sheets. I want to try to add also some of these inside and see what it gets, what it comes out. So these are like, I'm gonna use the small ones and maybe a big one on top. I don't know, I'm gonna see.
Oh, I figured nobody really wants to see me sanding these pins, so it's pretty simple. I'll sand each piece going from low grit to high to make it smooth and shiny. Okay, so I decided that I'm not going to do this one. I really don't like it and I don't want to spend any time on making this. So this is gonna go into the trash bag. <laughs> so this I'm gonna leave just like that. So I made a little um, angle here, which makes it a little bit, you know, gives it a little peculiarity. Um, so here it's funny, like it looks like it's a pencil or something. So this one is done. Okay. Then here I'm going to add some UV resin to make a little bubble just to fin give it a finish. And here it is. And then we have the very last one, and here it is. It came out exactly like I wanted actually, so that's a win. So here we have the tip. And here too I did this, um, I sanded it at an angle, you can see the pearls. I added two, had to add it, had to add more. I'm gonna try with the back black background. Okay, so here are all four of them, and then this was it for this video. Have a very nice day and see you next time. Bye!